Hey everybody, Michael B. The Game Genie here, and on today's video, we're taking a look at Gravatar Recharge. It's the classic Atari arcade game remastered for the modern era, available now on modern consoles and on Steam. We're going to take a look at the game and see if it's any good, and is it the perfect fit for one of your favorite home arcades? That's right guys, on today's video we're going to be taking a look at Gravatar Recharge. I want to say a huge thank you to Atari. They actually sent me out a copy of this game for review. I actually got it through Keymailer. If you guys aren't familiar, Keymailer is a service available to YouTubers, Twitchers, anybody doing social media content. You sign up, there's a list of games that you can apply for, and sometimes they'll just mail one out to you. Gravatar Recharge was one of the ones they reached out to me and said, this fits your list, maybe it'd be a good one for you to look at, so I said, sure. So if you're not a YouTuber or a Twitch user and you want to access Gravatar Recharged as well, you can pick it up on consoles or you can head on over to Steam where it's available right now. I'll show you some of the screen images. It's definitely a more modern look on a classic. Completely beautiful. It's got like those res type graphics and it's a very cool looking game that I think you guys will be very impressed with. Now I'm sure some of you arcade heads out there are already saying, Hey, I'm already familiar with Gravatar. This is the classic Atari arcade game, right? So if you guys have either owned the Atari 12-in-1, the Arcade 1-Up, Legacy, Atari Centipede Unit, like you can see me playing here, or I believe this is on your Legends Ultimate device as well, you probably would have seen Gravatar as an available game to go check out. Me personally, I've played it mostly on my Atari Centipede Legacy Edition cabinet, I'm not exactly very good at Gravatar, but it's a very cool and interesting classic Atari game, which is kind of like a take spin on what Asteroids was and brought it to the next level. So I'm very interested in playing the recharge version here. So guys, what I want to do now is I'm actually going to play some of the game for you so you guys can get a feel for how it plays, how it looks, how it sounds, and I'll give you my thoughts as we go along. And then you can decide for yourself, is the game good? Is it worth picking up? And then is it a good fit for one of our home arcade systems that we have right now? What's your favorite? Whether it be Arcade 1UP, iArcade, or At Games, which one do you think it would fit the best on or does it fit at all? So guys, again, I'm not the best Gravatar player in the world, but I, I, I try my best. Uh, it's not a game I've put most of my time to, but I did want to see what the Recharge version were. I've seen a bunch of these Atari Recharge games, and uh, when the opportunity to review this came up, I said, I want to play it because I think it might be a good fit for home arcade, especially for the consoles that don't necessarily just focus on retro and classic gaming. So let's try the uh, arcade version. Before we do get started, you can play arcade, you can play certain missions, there's achievements, setting, credits, quit. I don't fool around with any of that. I just play arcade and I'm probably gonna regret this. It's also single, multiplayer, single life, no power-ups, no shield. What? What? <laughs> All right, let's do it that way. Play! Yeah, so obviously it's absolutely beautiful. I love what they did here. They really uh, flushed it out and made it a lot prettier than what it previously was. Uh, the base gameplay is the same. Like, there's no breaks. Uh, you can get into a planet and then you can start showing. You've got so, uh, A button shoots. I'm using an Xbox controller. And then you choose what direction you're going and then you hit the gas. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to try to slow down a little bit and find a planet to go into here. But as you can see, like it's popping off the screen. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's the planet I want. Can I get it? Yeah, baby. Let's go in and get destroyed. Ruin my life. Oh, oh yeah. Here we go. The real key on this is the uh, <laughs> how absolutely bonkers it is to try to control your characters. That's what I've always had problems with. Oh, there we go. Destroy the reactor. That's what we're trying to do. Ah! Son of a... <laughs> I, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> but it is fun. It is absolutely fun. Take me in again, Death Star. Now, there's probably uh, arcade experts in Gravatar that are saying, What is wrong with this guy? Why is he doing this? But 
I just wanted to show it off. It's not necessarily something I'm excellent at, but it is fun. The challenge is good. Forgot my headphones to listen to the music. What are you doing, Mike? There it is. Now I can enjoy the ambience with the rest of you. So we'll continue. That might help. All right. Oh, I already lost my shield. Let's go back to that planet again and check this out. All right. We're going to navigate that narrow passageway. I love the ambient sounds. Oh, no, no, no. Mike. <laughs> yeah, of course. Game over. All right. We're going to try it again. Now with the full setup where I got my headphones on and everything. Your best is 730. I know. I'm shits. I know. Do you got to tell everybody? We're not going to fly into the sun. Let's go find somewhere to go. Into this planet. Alright. Well, this one, I, I can do this one, I think. Took down a beacon. Get out of here. Stay away from Oprah. And then I blow up the... Mm, come on, Mike. <laughs> run into the sun. What is going on? Come on, we gotta get back here. There we go. Landed on the planet. We've got one beacon done. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back here, man. It's so hard. Ah! It's gravitational pull. Got me. Got me. It's addictive. Well, I mean, obviously, it's a classic arcade game. It's always addictive. You try to get incrementally better each turn. And uh, that still has the same appeal here, except now it's absolutely beautiful as well. All right. Let's go into you, Crescent Moon Planet. Come here, your aliens. Yeah, they have done a really cool job with this. Activate my beacon, baby. Activate my beacon, baby. Oh, you're gonna get it now, buddy. Of course. Two out of three beacons activated. Alright, let's get back in there and see what we can do. I love the sound. I think the amb ambience of the sound is incredible. I love, love the gameplay. I mean, it's hard to control, but then again, so was the classic arcade. So they kind of nailed that. Leave the planet. Let's get the hell out of here! There we go. Moving on to the next planet. We got 525 points. Let's see if we can beat my previous high score. There we go. Oh, you're done for. You're done, son. No. Okay, not game over yet. I screwed up big time there. Big time. But I'm going to get back in. We're going to do this. There it is. 550. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. We can do this. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know if this is good or not. 825, so we beat my high score. We're doing good there. Oh, you son of a... But we beat my high score. There it is. 875. I don't know if I'll beat my high score, but I do want to give it one more try. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I don't know what this is. Is this a satellite? Enemy ship? I'm not sure. Steal the intelligence. That makes me happy. I'm all about that. Uh, 
All right. Look, I'm almost a pro now. Look at this. Navigating the hallway like an expert. And then I arrogantly say that. And then run into the wall. But we're going to try again. That was a fun one. Get back here. All right. We're going to steal the intelligence. And I'm going to show you guys how little intelligence I have. So I, uh, I got... I've already hit the wall, so this is going to be trouble. You can see the little bit of gas up there. There we go. There we go. I think I actually got the intelligence, guys. All right, now I need to leave the planet without dying. All right, here we go. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going to leave the planet, fellas. Woo! We beat it. We beat my high score. <laughs> All right. I'm unstoppable. Where are we going now? All right, man, you're up next. Let's see if we can break a thousand. This is probably not that in impressive but to me I, I feel like I'm doing good work here oh I left and then ran it ah okay 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 let me tell you what they do they F you at the sandwich line all right so we're gonna go back in and we're gonna find someone to kill without getting knocked off the top okay that's not a good sign that's not a good sign Over a thousand. We're doing good here. Trick is. Yeah, buddy. Seven out of nine enemies destroyed. We got one more left. We just gotta find him. Where is he? Where are you, last enemy? Is it that stupid thing? 1200 points leave the planet we did it we got through another planet we're becoming experts at this fellas there we go all right so I got one man left a thousand two hundred and twenty five points and we are rocking and rolling We should leave, Gareth. Why? <laughs> Where? <laughs> I'm low on gas and you need a coat. Alright. Give me a planet. Give me a planet to go to. Come on. Oh, there you are. Hello, planet. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. Be cool, baby. Be cool. There we go. Okay, we're just going to be real decent here. There we go. 1375. We're running out of gas. That's cool. No need to worry. We got this. There we go, 1,500. Now we're rocking and rolling. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, there it is. That's my best score, though. I'm pretty happy with that.
Yeah, so anyways, guys, that's Gravatar Recharge. Certainly a fun look at the classic game. Definitely more refined, more enjoyable in my opinion, but I know classic arcade enthusiasts will uh, probably disagree. But anyways, it's a cool take uh, reimagining on a classic. That would be the best way to put it. Now, the question I asked in this video, is this a good fit for home arcade? Now, I, I don't think that this would be uh, a good fit for Arcade 1-Up. I think Arcade 1-Up have already nailed it. I mean, they're their purveyors of nostalgia. They have the Atari 12-in-1 Legacy Cabinet, the new 14-in-1 Legacy Cabinet, and you can play Gravatar on that, and that works really good. Where I think this fits in is more so for iArcade and the At Games Legends Ultimate. iArcade, uh, I don't know, they ha don't have any real Atari games on that console yet. Uh, and some of that may be due to exclusive partnerships with other home arcade companies like Arcade 1UP. But maybe this is something that Arcade 1UP doesn't have dominion over. Maybe this is something that would be a good fit on the iArcade and where the iArcade has got a more powerful chipset and can run stuff that's a little bit more advanced maybe this would be a good fit let me know in the comments if you think you'd like to see this on the iArcade and of course there's also the At Games Legends Ultimate we're wondering if At Games will ever do anything different with Arcade Net maybe they can offer some different games on their cloud streaming service and I think some of these Atari Recharge classics might be a good fit as well and if you don't want to wait for that of course, you can do the same thing that other people do. You can connect your PC to your At Games Legends Ultimate and play using the Legends Ultimate as a front end and play it on your arcade that way. That's probably what I'm going to do in the meantime while I wait for one of these home arcade companies to scoop this up. Anyways, if you want to check it out, it's available on Steam. It's available on modern consoles. I'll tell you, it's a beautiful game with a great soundtrack. And me personally, I think it would be a good fit on some home arcade systems. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. What do you think of Gravatar Recharged? Is it a cool looking game? Fun take on a classic? Do you agree with me? Or do you think that this is something that was better left in the past in its original form? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video tonight. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, and I'll talk to you next time.